and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Garen Z, our third Garen deck on Garen Spotlight Day. This one's going to be going on over to Ionia and also being another aggressive deck. The, the kind of key card that we're kind of showcasing here is going to be Grand Plaza. You all may have forgotten about this landmark. It used to be uh, the talk of the game whenever it gave plus one, plus one. It still gives plus one, plus zero in Challenger this round. And so we're pairing Grand Plaza with Zed. You know, Zed has that quick attack. You know, it could make a four power quick attack Challenger. That seems like a pretty sweet pairing. Um, so we're going to, you know, that's that's kind of like the thing here. We also have cards like River Shaper, um, Grizzled Ranger. River Shaper is just going to be our value card to help, help us get into the late game, be able to draw extra spells. Um, we'll have Egghead Researcher in here that will create some dragons. So that's that's a pretty good card with Grand Plaza being a 2-3 challenger for two mana. Not bad. I'm um, going to try one copy of Retreat Return, which Retreat Return with Egghead Researcher seems kind of cool. Um, but that can also help save or put like River Shaper and Zed into play. Um, but yeah, then, you know, of course, we're going to be Garen. And Garen with Grand Plaza getting the challenger also fairly strong. Another spicy one that we got in here is a Ren Shadow Blade. This could be a 4-3 quick attack challenger, uh, you know, kind of like Zed, but then it can also create Shadow Fiends. And usually Shadow Fiends, you're like, well, what am I going to do with these? They're just like these ephemeral things. They're not any good. But what if they had Challenger? Huh, what if you had a Grand Plaza in play and your Shadow Fiends had Challenger? Now you're talking about like much, much bigger saplings, right? Like now it's making like 5-3 challengers for one mana you know like even though they're ephemeral that's still like that's that's a great card so that could be a, a spicy one to kind of uh go with grand plaza if that ever works out um but that's going to be about it then you know it's just basically other demacia ionia curve out stuff we'll have some protection for zed you know with the retreat with sharp sights with a prismatic barrier um a couple of reposts those are always good with zed as well all right so we'll give this a try garen zed we'll go play five games on over in diamond Draven, Jinx, Ezreal. So playing against Hyper Aggro. Can we stabilize? That card's obviously gone. Maybe I just need to mulligan Garen in these Hyper Aggro matchups. I've been keeping Garen. It's just such a good blocker and everything. So it would be round five. Oh, maybe I need to get rid of Garen though. Yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> Not the best fans. I was kind of looking for um, Egghead Researcher. Oh, that was going to be a good blocker. Oh, how about that? Egghead Researcher showed up. Eh. You can just reckon tomorrow. I don't have to today. River shape the land and give it life. Come back later. Well, that was pretty de pretty decent. So went with the river shaper there to be able to have. Um, protector, protect the Fleet Feather Tracker. I salute you. The heart's as big as his biceps. It's the seed. This is what this kind of discard burn can do. You know, like sometimes they just have this kind of hand and not too much to do about it. They have the hand, they got the hand. It's the fastest deck in Legends of Runeterra, even faster than Aurelia Azir. They got their hand, they got it. Karma Victor. 
Sorry, I'm running out of time. What are we playing against? Javon, I really in Soul. Oh, th those cards are. Those cards are great. Um, you're gone. Cool. Yeah, so that Ionia Victor control deck that we played yesterday, that's that's what I would recommend. That's the list right there. Um, if you're looking for putting Victor and Karma together. It doesn't have only just Victor and Karma, it's got other champions as well. But uh, that's what I'd recommend. Do not fear the shrouded path. Strength and grace, beauty is the play. I have many faces. This is my opponent. Ren Shadowblade. To honor the fallen. Do I let Zed die? And just set up for future turns? Or do I play Repost? Keep Zed alive. Even if I keep Zed alive, it's just gonna be a 3-2. I guess I can open attack. And turns into a 4-3. This is definitely my least favorite deck to play against, is Demacia Targon. Dragon stuff. Because all of these like little mid-range decks that I play, it's just so hard to win this matchup. This is a win the game or lose the game kind of play by me. Lost. Looks like lose the game. For king and country. Hush is gonna blow us out at any point. Yeah, like it's gonna blow us out at some point anyway. I Always lots of risk in anything. But if this works out, this is just so good for me. And it's looking like it's working out. Using those two combat tricks to take down both dragons. They don't have all the sharp sights and everything. This is like a first. Playing against this deck without all that. So obviously that's... I guess that could be the double stun. Double stun, not Equinox. To be Equinox. Okay, cool. It's just Equinox. Good. You're covered. Oh. Now they have single combat. I mean, that's still game. Why didn't they... I don't know. That's still game. There's 13 there. Okay. One and one. That's a good win. 
Not an easy deck to defeat at all. But good job, Garen. Took down some dragons before. No Shivana. So just Zoe and Aurelian Soul. Going small and big. We're, of course, keeping the 1, 2, 3. Single combat. Our units aren't very large for single combat. Alright, they got my Egghead Researcher. I don't have any one mana spells that I could draw. As far as I know, they would protect Zed. So sometimes you just gotta go for it, I think. See so either that or I could go like Researcher plus Bright Seal Protector. Which that's not bad either. Alright, yeah, maybe we just do this. This is the safer play than just a Zed. I've got your back. Pull the tracks. All right, so they're saving sharp sight. Didn't didn't use one there. Pass, they pass. Not the best dragons to hit. Pledge yourself to the shadows. And a long path to get you. Seven six Cythria can challenge and kill. The dragon through Sharp Sight. But they got lots and lots of cards over there, lots and lots of mana. So we'll see. Hopefully, it's like last opponent didn't have the combat tricks. Hopefully, this opponent doesn't either. Because I don't have combat tricks. They're down to two. Virtue guides me. Two's not very much life. I guess they have more single combat. Oh no, Zoe. Zoe Alright, repost is cool. Short from playing Cythria and having Repost. Probably don't really need to do that. Probably should be playing one of the seven drops this round. Okay. Maybe not. So I could go Concerted Strike and just kill the Radiant Guardian. Obviously, I could kill the 7 7 also. I wonder how many fight spells they have. I guess they could have Hush. Also. Yeah, because I could, I could play the Elusive and attack immediately and like give Fearsome to the Elusive. But of course, they could just Sharp Sight, Block, Hush. You know, they just have so many different things they could do. Um, I think the Elusive is actually probably the worst card to play. I guess unless I want the Fury Scout Challenger next round. So that means I would have four other mana for Repose. So I need to either play Cythria or Concerted Strike this round.
Oh, man. Yeah, that did not work. That did not work. Yeah, so like, yeah, concerted strike on the, yeah, on the thing, on the radiant guardian that heals the nexus, it's definitely an option. That's what I was hoping for. If my opponent would have just played it really until the last round, they would have died. But they were, they were smart. They didn't do it. I was certainly hoping for them. Your favorite star. I created it. Yeah, it was the 4-3 because of Cipria, not Plaza. Yep. My, how they stare. We're, we're going to be pretty fortunate if we win this game. Doesn't look like it. The, the Spaces Catchers are, you know, you don't really see Spaces Catchers with the, the Demacia version too much, but they have been uh, coming in pretty clutch. I still have that thing as an option. They're playing it correctly. They're not giving me any any opening to steal the game. Keeping a removal for Cythria now. Soldiers to me. Good game. Thresh Nasus. So we played against Thresh Nasus a couple of times today. Both times they've had a lot of Curse Keepers and Ravenous Butcher combinations. So we're hoping not to see very much of that combo this time. Yeah, Sparrow says, I don't know if that was completely lost, just very unlikely. Yeah, it was... I agree. It was very unlikely that we were winning that. It wasn't absolutely completely lost, but just for mental for just for just for just me not just being really upset and really mad i i don't i wanted to get out of that game right like that's that's something that it's okay to, to do like it's such a low percentage chance of us winning that game and i just i want to get out of there i just dislike a really insult so much so yeah um but yeah we we would have had to draw Something to get rid of spell shield and then concerted strike also on the real and soul and just hope that their all their celestials and all their cards in hand weren't any good. I, it doesn't really seem realistic that those things would have been the case, but that's what we would have needed. So I could use sharp side and had sharp side also trade with the merciless hunter, um, but that's just not a very good use of sharp side. Instead, we're going to get the grand plaza in play so we can give. Challenger to a card like Shadow Blade, they can also just take out the Merciless Hunter. Basically, their their best thing to have would be the Sacrifice Draw Two. Hopefully, not that. Hopefully, we get to strike. Second Grand Plaza is never really a great card to draw. Course, 
No, Garen. Well, now I gotta play Garen. Uh, no, I guess I could play, because you know, I was planning on going Researchers plus Protector. Obviously, we could just go Cytheria, but... I'm something of an aspiring ecologist. Right. Is this challenge even worth it? Gives them a slay. Yeah, I think so. So Blighted Caretaker is still a card. So you don't want to just like leave those kind of things with Blighted Caretaker being a card. To me. Firebrand and Garen aren't big enough to get it done, even with Sharp Sight. Because all they have to do is have, you know, like, something else get slayed. This Nasus could be 10 power. So please don't have Glimpse Beyond again. Okay, I just passed. Alright, 8 mana. Maybe just Garen. For king and country. There's nowhere to hide. If they have something smaller that hits the fiend, does that count as the fiend getting getting slayed? I, I wonder. The wicked must fall. Follow the track. Sure hope this takes out Nasus. Keep your distance. Ugh, sure hope this works. Okay, it works. Bad part there is that probably means they have another... Probably means they have another Nasus. Grand Plaza. That's never good. We swim within the flows of magic. They forgot. You, you cannot. That's a surprise. Alright, so if we open attack, Thresh can block. Thresh has to block one of these. Let's see, so that's seven, ten. So they can, yeah, they can block like the four, four, stay alive. They don't have to throw it in front of the seven power. I really wish I could tell how big this Nasus is going to be. But they're about to play. I don't know if Concerted Strike kills Nasus.
That thing blocks, jumps in front of the dragon. That blocks there. Maybe seven. That's spear. That's that's a great spear leech. Good, good card. <laughs> They've drawn eight more cards than I have. So many more cards. This Ren Shadow Blade creating the Shadow Fiends has kind of kept us in this. That does kind of say desperation. I need to keep them from drawing more cards, finding Nasus, right? Like, I kind of need to... I guess Concerted Strike's worth, you know, like, this is probably worth two random cards. I get a Shadow Fiend and a... I get a Shadow Fiend and a card and it keeps them from drawing two. It's probably worth it. Darkness, motion. Keeps them from drawing two and I get two. Oh no! <laughs> Why can't I Sharp Sight now? Okay, well, they don't have the mana for Nasus plus Atrocity. Time to play some Shadow Fiends. Life is the rain that splits the skies. These Shadow Fiends have been awesome. Alright, what's that last card? Hopefully it's something else that doesn't save them. Oh, Vile Feast? Yeah, my guess is Vile Feast. Oh no, atrocity. That does save them. So they they did have the atrocity. So now Thresh is leveled up. And now they can actually block. Alright, let's get a dragon that costs five or less. Four or five mana dragon. Ooh, that's a dragon that costs five or less. You and I have been before, haven't we? Okay. So you challenge you. You challenge you. You challenge you. And Shadow Fiends for the win. How about that? Ren Shadow Blade taking down one of the top decks in the game. Did you, anybody see that coming? My one Ren Shadow Blade? Ren Shadow Blade. And Draven Ezreal. Draven Ezreal, final boss, trying to keep us from our 60% win rate. River Shaper's great if it can strike, but it's not necessarily very likely that it's going to strike. Yeah, Doggo's, Doggo's doing better. Pup, Pup's doing good. You know, she still has her, her sores on her back. You can probably see that the sore like right here and the shape she's got one there one on the on her other side but she's doing pretty good she's running around not really acting like it's bothering her anymore the party has arrived mm. without a sound let's boogie We 
Retreat return is nice. So retreat, return costs three, single combat another two. <laughs> we go as one. I am the shadow. Wow. My skill is unrivaled. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting you know, like Mystic Shot. That kind of stuff. Yeah, so they didn't even give me the opportunity to try to fight. about whirling death sorry I've been, I've been thinking a lot this game so i haven't really been talking too much um i i want to grizzled ranger single combat kill the ezreal but i and i would also really like to block the draven but then that does open up whirling death um you know draven's champion spell these champions are pretty good i guess i can't do that make them have some other kind of removal spell Wow. Well, okay, I guess that's not the worst, because now they, they don't get to play the Mystic Shot now, so that's not the worst. A gift from the river Water's nailed it. Not enough for Zed plus Repost. So I guess we can have Zed plus Grand Plaza. I guess I could I could have gone Zed plus Living Shadow, but Living Shadow is not spectacular. Nine cards in hand if I pass. I don't hate the pass though. I think that kind of helps me out mana wise. So many cards over there, I don't think I'm winning this. Hmm. So that keeps me from drawing a spell with the River Shaper. But it does kill the Ezreal. They have ten, 10 cards in hand. I'm not exactly sure what the game looks like of, with us winning. Without a sound. Good hand. Good hand, both champions. 
good interaction. You know, multiple sump treasures to go, you know, with just to discard those things. Like, sump treasures are awesome. Discarding, spinning axes, drawing cards. They had the ravenous flock combo, and then just double improbulator with all of those threes. Good hand. All right, so that's going to be Garen Zed. Um, you know, went back to a 2 3. So didn't quite pull off the winning record. Um, this version, it felt okay. It felt okay. We'd only played this deck one other time before, and we actually went 5-0 and the other time that we played it. Um, so the, the, this is actually, the, and that was four months ago, and I never played it again. And I was like, well, why haven't I played this deck again? And so tried it again today, and, you know, 2-3. and three. Um, Things probably went really, really well for us last time. Um, but... Uh, these decks are really good. You know, the, these top end decks that you play in ranked, you know, Thresh Nasus and, and, um, these, all these Shivana decks, these Shivana really in soul, Zoe really in soul, that Draven Ezreal. It is not easy to defeat these top end decks with, um, you know, with, with just some middle of the road type decks like we're playing today with these Garen decks. Um, but, so, you know, I'm not, I'm not mad at, at any of our records, you know, with two threes or three twos with these, with these decks. I'm just kind of showing you, like, what, what the games in Ranked are liked. And, and we saw there with that last game with Draven Ezreal, it is not easy to win when, when they have, you know, awesome cards. And, you know, we, we got um, kind of high-rolled by Discard Burn. That Draven Ezreal hand was exactly what you, what you want. You know, so that's two of our losses. We won two of the other three games. And so whenever, whenever your opponents have, like, those top-end decks, when they have really good hands, it's really hard to beat. But it's not always going to be the case, and we're going to keep trying. We're going to keep on playing fun stuff, and um, you know sometimes you you can get pretty lucky. And like like I said, last time we played this four months ago, we went five and zero with it. <laughs> you know, so uh, you you can still get uh, lucky and have a really good record. And that's what we're going to try with Garen Renekton up next. I'm pretty excited about that version with the different challenger stuff with Renekton, um, and then, like how Demacia has sharp sight single combat with Renekton. I think that could be pretty sweet. All right, but that's going to be it here for Zed. Zed kind of underperformed, um, you know, being the three-two, the two health was was really vulnerable. It was really small, I guess that's what I'm saying. It was really small. You know, like we played against a, a lot of dragons that are just much bigger than Zed, and then um, even that Draven Ezreal, they just have such good answers to Zed. And then even like the discard burn, um, it's tougher Zed. Yeah, so we we didn't play against the best matchups for Zed, that's for sure. It was just a little small. All right, but that's going to be it here for for Garen Zed. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Hopefully, y'all enjoy those games, especially that game against Thresh Nasus where we had Ren Shadowblade just take over. That was pretty awesome having, having that game. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed that one. Um, and, uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the Champion Spotlight Day. But that's going to be it here for this deck. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.